calculating the distance travelled on a velocity time graph by kscience.com. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So this first shape of the graph is a triangle, so you must use base times height divided by 2. The base is 15 minus 0, which is 15, and the height is 30. So then you use base times height divided by 2. So that will be 30 times 15 divided by 2, which gives you an answer of 225 metres. This part of the graph was separated into a rectangle and a triangle. So you must calculate the area of the rectangle and the triangle separately. So the base of the rectangle is 10 and the height of the rectangle is 30. To work out the area of a rectangle, it's base times height. So it's 30 times 10, which gives you an answer of 300 meters. So the triangle above that rectangle has a base of 10 as well, but a height of five. So it's going to be base times height divided by two. So it's 10 times five divided by two, which is a distance of 25 meters. So during period D of the journey, you use the equation base times height because it's a rectangle. So the base is going to be 50 minus 25, which is 25, times by the height, which is 35. So it's 35 times 25, which equals 875 meters. During period E of the journey, the object decelerates. The base is 65 minus 50, which gives the base a total of 15. So use the equation base times height divided by 2, so it'll be 35 times 15 divided by 2, which gives you a distance during the deceleration of 262.5 meters. And to calculate the total distance traveled during this journey, you add all the distances together. So it's 225 plus 300 plus 25 plus 875 plus 262.5 meters. That gives you a total journey distance of 1,687.5 meters. That's the total distance of the journey during this time. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.